Hello and welcome to another episode of the EA Files in which we look at the complete specifications of an electric aircraft and review its performance and ingenuity. The aircraft that we will be looking at in this video is the 11-seater Alice by the Israeli startup Aviation. On this channel, Electric Aviation, we bring for you the latest developments from the world of sustainable air travel and also take a deep dive into the technology in our explainer videos. Subscribe to get all of our latest updates. So let's get back to Alice. It is a bold aircraft indeed that was born out of the idea of low cost travel for regional transport. According to its CEO, the only way to bring a step change in the cost of air travel is to go with electric propulsion. With nine passengers and two crew members, the Alice takes a pioneering step in electric aviation as it is one of the first announced multi-seater electric aircraft with a range of 1000 kilometers or 650 miles and with 45 minutes of reserve. Now there are 2 billion air tickets sold each year for flights under 500 miles and so the business potential for this electric passenger aircraft is clear. The aircraft has a cruise speed of 240 knots or about 440 kilometers per hour and will have a flight time of nearly two and a half hours. Alice aims to achieve its range with a payload of 1134 kilograms through a lighter airframe and a more aerodynamically efficient design. Its unconventional look therefore is based on the principle of form following function. Let's look at its propulsion first. The Alice has three pusher propellers with two of them mounted on the wingtips. By countering the wingtip vortices, these two propellers give the advantage of increasing the lift of the wing while simultaneously reducing the drag. Note that it is through electric propulsion that the benefits of wingtip propulsors can be exploited. It's difficult to mount traditional engines at the end of a wing because of their heavy weight, whereas the motors used by Alice weigh only 50 kilograms. There's also a pusher propeller at the back and therefore the aircraft requires longer landing gear. A tall retractable tailwheel protects the rear propeller from tail strikes. There are two distinct advantages of this back propeller. First is that it ingests the boundary layer on top of the fuselage and thus makes the large fuselage itself a lifting body. The effect of boundary layer ingestion by propellers is well studied. It was found that 9% reduction in required propulsor mechanical power was needed compared to a non-boundary layer ingestion configuration with the same propulsors. This is one reason why the producers of Alice are confident that even when the aircraft is at V2, it can continue to take off. Note that V2 means the ability to take off after single engine failure. It has been claimed that Alice will achieve V2 even with both wingtip thrusters failure. Aviation offers two electric propulsion options for Alice. First is the US company Magnex 375 horsepower motors or the 349 horsepower motors made by the German company Siemens. Alice uses Hartzell's variable pitch propellers as the control is completely fly-by-wire, the motors can be spun independently for self-balance and your control. The blade pitch can be changed to allow the propellers to feather in case there is a failure of one of the wingtip motors. The tail propeller is capable of taking over the workload in such scenarios, thereby providing redundancy. The bespoke design of the propellers with five blades keep a low wingtip speed for higher propulsion efficiency at low RPMs. The airframe for Alice weighs around 1400 kilograms, excluding the weight of the motors. By comparison, a Beechcraft Queen Air, which also carries nine passengers and two crew members, has an airframe weight of about 2000 kilograms. Even Cessna 414, which is an eight passenger aircraft, has an airframe weight of 1541 kilograms. This lightweight for Alice was achieved by building 95% of the airframe from composite materials. As for the batteries, Alice is supposed to house 3,600 kilograms of lithium-ion batteries to get the 900 kilowatt hours of energy capacity. There are two problems with this. First is that the batteries make up almost 60% of the maximum takeoff weight of the aircraft, which is very high for an 11-seater. The second is that even with 3,600 kilograms being allocated for batteries, it would still require back level density of 250 watt hour per kilogram. 
This is very hard to achieve with current batteries and liquid cool packs. However, with the passage of time, as the battery tech improves, so would the capability of the aircraft. The name of Kokum has been announced as one of the battery suppliers. Now, let's look at the design ingenuity. Alice was made ground up to be electric. The aircraft has a V-tail that eliminates the need of having a fin and thus reduces the overall drag and weight. We have already mentioned the wingtip propulsors which are unique and then there is the capsized boat shaped lifting body fuselage and not to mention the boundary layer ingestion propulsion at the back with customized low tip speed blades. In terms of creativity of design, this aircraft scores a 10 out of 10. Alice also benefits from thinner wings which provide better control during turbulence. The specs for the aircraft are shown on the screen. Alice will be rolled out in the year 2022 and once the certification is achieved, Aviation is targeting a 5 million price tag for the aircraft and an operating cost for $200 per flight hour. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from this video, do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.